There's something called emotional contagion here? Yeah, so this is kind of how we humans automatically and influence each other's feelings. Um, it's based around mimicry of external expressions. So you watch other people's gestures, their voice, their facial expressions, and you end up sort of mimicking those without really intending to. And the more you mimic those, the more you change your internal feelings. So this happens all the time. You, you've probably experienced it if you've ever gone out to coffee with an anxious friend and came away from the experience feeling anxious yourself, even though you didn't have the same reason to feel upset. But it also happens in the workplace with your boss, and it's something that can also happen at political rallies. Now, we tend to talk about this uh, in the context of peers influencing one another or somebody at the top influencing the people at the bottom, you know, the leader influencing the followers. But it turns out that it's a little bit more complicated in, than that. And the experts that I spoke to for a story that I wrote about at F38 this week told me that followers can influence their leaders as well. And that was really interesting to me because uh, 538 had done a documentary about the Dean Scream that you mentioned. Right. And in that documentary, Howard Dean was talking about how throughout the campaign, he just kept having these moments where he knew that he was supposed to kind of tone down his excitement. And he couldn't because whenever he did, the audience didn't look all that interested. And he wanted to feel the energy from them and he wanted to feel the excitement. And so he would get excited and then they would get excited and then he would get even more excited. And the next thing you know, he's being painted as somebody who doesn't have the temperament for the presidency.